A question that comes up to my mind right now is, kids that make money, I can understand it from a development aid uh, point of view that, you know, that it's helpful. But I know in some, uh, let's say in some societies, kids trying to make money would be stamped as child labor. And, um, well, maybe our last uh, speaker is going to be Martin Berg from Paraguay. Uh, maybe you can address that issue a little bit. Uh, but also, I know for a fact that you can uh, address the um, one, one question I really have in my mind, and, you know, to, to wrap it up since you're the last speaker, is uh, what is the advantage of using different models in different regions? Because all of you are coming from different regions, and it's all the Afghan uh, model, basically, but there are differences. Obviously, you just spoke about Muslim schools, for example, and that's different than in Eastern Europe. So could you tell us a little bit about the advantage of using different models, basically? Hello, I'm sorry I'm the last one. <laughs> I'm trying to be very short. In South America, we have the same problem that any country has. How do you motivate your youth? How do you break the cycle of monotony that affects society? How do we shake society and get young people excited to think about the future? So I really am very impressed and very, very thankful to be invited to this Dutch I have a dream idea because this is exactly what we need, not only here, but everywhere in the world. How do we incorporate that concept in the curriculum? Because there was a time when our parents or our grandparents could have a dream and could motivate themselves out of poverty and could immigrate and could do great things. Who put off the fire in our societies. Whose hand said, don't dream, work? How can we put back the dream into the curriculum? How can we tell every single Dutch girl, follow your dream? It doesn't matter what it is. Yes, of course you can do it. This is the same issue in this society as anywhere. The children. Of course it can't be done. It's against the law. It's against the, the United Nations Convention of Human Rights. It's against everything, of course. People are more interested in not rocking the boat or changing the world than in solving how many millions of Filipino children can be uplifted from poverty in this way. So, the way to uh, prevent child labor is to fight child labor. But a boy making cookies to sell around his neighborhood, that's not child labor. And if you put it with a curriculum, you encourage it in the classroom, you incorporate the parents and the teacher much less. In our case, we are inspired by Aflatoon. We want to promote child savings. We want to make banks children friendly. And we want children to know their human rights. We, because in Paraguay we have no foreign aid, we have to think of sustainable ways. So we are working with microcredit organizations that have the village bank methodology of 20 women. And we are working in the slums, getting these women together to bring their children also. Same concept as in Mali. I am finding out right now 
but we are trying to form <laughs> we are trying to for, form philharmonic societies in the poorest of the poorest slums and we are using the savings methodologies so that children can save to buy violins because if there is anything that elevates extremely poor people up is their ability to get together and to form and to play classical music. Of course, it is not in one single manual of economics, but this is what really happens. So let us open our brains, let us open our minds, let us encourage banks for children, run by children. Let us encourage these challenges to paradigms. Who said that the Muslim children were destined to be poor because of the Quran? Ask them. So this is what I, 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 I really appreciate this invitation. Let's have a dream. Let's, let's challenge conventional wisdom. And let's come up with a dream. Let's invite, let's have a curriculum that tailors every girl and every boy saying, follow your dream. Do not believe people who tell you that cannot be done. Yes, of course you can be an astronaut and take your dog with you and stuff like that. Thank you very much.